For the past several decades, Israel has held some of the toughest criteria for civilians obtaining firearms than any other country in the world. Now, for a long time, to get a personal firearm in Israel, you basically had to prove that your day-to-day -day life depended on it, and then you had to renew that license regularly with training courses. Correlating with that relatively low rate of guns, there have been categorically low mass shootings of any kind in Israel. Now, correlation may, of course, not prove direct causation, but regardless, this has been the status quo in Israel until today. Israel's public security minister, Eldan, has just issued a significant relax of gun application for criteria, and now any veteran from the IDF infantry can be eligible for a firearm license putting potentially hundreds of thousands of guns into Israeli citizens' hands. And here to discuss this major development is Major General in the Reserves and former National Security Advisor Uzi Dayan and Dr. Nachman Shai, a member of the Knesset with the Zionist Union. Thank you both so much for joining us. We have a lot to talk about. So first, obvious question. This comes from, uh, from uh, the Office of the, uh, the Public Security. Does this help or hurt public security? It's needed. The, the key word is terrorism. There is a threat in Israel terrorism, and it's not North America that uh, there is a terror uh, event here and there. Mm. It's uh, there a lot, uh, there are more than, uh, let's say, 100 years. So people want to have a uh, gun to protect themselves, and uh, we're taking a risk here, of course, but it's, it's not North America, it's very different here, and it's not every a reservist or veteran of the Israeli, uh, of the IDF, it's also... From the infantry? It's not only infantry, it's, it's a rifleman, a soldier, a combatant soldier, so a pass, it's called Mark uh, 7. Right. right. And uh, so, so they are skilled, and we can um, very much uh, trust them. And it's needed, I, I, I can tell myself, I don't know about you, Nachman, I carry a gun in Israel. Why? Because I know how to deal with it and I feel safer. And the point here is not to feel safer, of mm. course. I, I sure, agree. It's to be if safer, it's just ideally. to feel more secured, I won't uh, give guns to the people. But uh, to give to the Israeli people that you can trust them and give them guns, it may make more guns in the uh, streets, it's true, but it, it, it's very efficient weapon against sure. terrorism. Sure. Well, Nachman, let let me ask you, would will it make things in Israel safer? Because we've seen in many countries that, that that's very much a big question. If more guns on the streets really does decrease shootings or terror. No, it will be just the opposite. I, I, I'm afraid it won't be safer. It'd be less safe than it is now. And Israel is, is pretty safe. I didn't see and I didn't, uh, I'm not familiar with any rise in terror uh, in Israel uh, for the the past few weeks or months, there is a certain uh, uh, level of terror that we've been exposed to for quite a long mm -hmm. time, and we are doing quite well. And I should uh, praise the government for that, for keeping uh, terror as low as possible. So there's no need for that. I don't know what is the motivation of the of Minister Adan. I have no idea. I haven't talked to him, so I just figure out it's uh, maybe it's an election campaign, maybe it's... Mm -hmm. uh, I have, no, I have no idea. I'm just figuring out what will be the outcome. Many more Israelis will be carrying guns. Unlike uh, Uzi, I'm not carrying a gun. Uh, but uh, that's his personal uh, decision, of course. It's an individual decision. In principle, more people will carry guns, more terror of uh, internal terror, mm. more incidents where people will be using their guns for no reason. And then there is a proof. I mean, we have proof in, in America where we know that uh, too many people are eligible to carry, actually every American is eligible to carry a gun. The outcome is terrible. We don't need it. And by the way, just let's do something uh, very simple. Go down the street and look around. In any given moment, you'll mm -hmm. see people carrying guns, right. which means that we have enough. We have enough Israelis that have license to carry gun, either in the army, the police, or just civilians. So there is no reason whatsoever to add more guns to the Israeli streets. Sure. No, I will say that when I walk around the streets of pretty much any major Israeli city, you know, if you go into a mall, a public place, the market of the shuk, there's, there's guns. guards with guns who have guns. a license and a permit to do so. Right. But this raises an interesting question because, you know, national security, right? I mean, we talk about terror in Israel, and for sure there is terror. But unlike in the United States, terrorists, I think there's been, I can count on one hand how many shooting incidents there's been, especially non-related to Palestinian terror, in the state of Israel. So my question is, if we put more guns just categorically in the streets, are we going to see, instead of stabbing attacks, are we going to see shooting attacks happen? Because that's pretty rare in Israel. What do you think? 
No, I don't think so. And you know, knife, it's a, it's a, it's a weapon. Knives mm. uh, kill people. And the, don't make any comparison to the United States or to North America no, in I'm general. No, I'm saying, I'm saying uh, that if, what, we, if we put more guns in the streets, just, just blanket, are we going to see guns get, get, get into the hands of people who are crimes Today there is about uh, almost 4% of the Israelis who can get uh, this license. It might now the, the new uh, uh, rules may bring it up to, I don't know, 8 10 percent. which so is we, we, potentially and, tens of thousands of and, guns. And we need, look, it's, it's a risk management in a way. I mean, to, not to, 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 to give some guns to the people who actually carried it when they were in the army, mm -hmm. in the IDF, and they also took it to their homes, etc. They know how to uh, deal with it, and they are responsible. So I think that give uh, these people the possibility, the option to carry a gun. It's, a, it's, it's calculated the risk, and the not giving it to the people, it's uncalculated mm -hmm. risk. But why, why take the risk? Like, like no. Nachman points out that Israel is very safe right now. Because, there is terror. No, no, I said it's calculated risk because the risk of terrorism is higher. It's a prevail than a death risk. Mm -hmm. And you, you, have to, you have to decide about it. I must say that it's only in the, okay, in the last days that uh, the, this decision was made. And what I'm saying is, uh, I don't know, it's never too late to do the right uh, uh, thing. There is a risk in mm -hmm. it, I agree. Mm. But I think it's a calculated risk and it's the right thing to do. Right. And I guess you would say that it's not no, a good calculated I, I, risk. I, I really, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I've been trying for, since yesterday when I heard for the first time, asking myself, well, why? Why do we need it? Uh, I would have agreed that I recognize or identify any rise in terror in Israel. Mm. I don't see it. Uh, and uh, internal security is, is quite fine. What I'm, what I'm scared is that when more people will carry guns, we'll end up with, uh, um, with battles within Israeli streets. Mm. I mean, when people have a, a gun, I mean, say they fight with each other, each other anyhow. Traffic, uh, standing in line, uh, in the supermarket sometimes. But the, the easiest way will be to pull, down, no, to pull the, out their guns. The two main, the two main risks is stealing. I mean, people. Oh, that's another weapon reason. can be sure. stolen, of course. stolen, and there another is a, risk a is, is accident. I mean, yeah, of course, there is a market I, I, of, uh, I of guns. I mean, in the Arab sector, we know that there is an influx right. of uh, weapons, and, and the outcome we see almost every day. Uh, they are fighting with each other using uh, a firearms. So I, I feel like uh, we better continue to do whatever we need. If there is a certain demand in a certain uh, uh, kibbutz, moshav, city, neighborhood, okay, let's take You're care of it. You're talking about regionally, but based on yes, small regional. Yes, yes, well, maybe in the agriculture, in the farms, you know, mm -hmm. people are isolated, they are working on their own, they need a gun. I mean, I can think about many situations, right. but in general, to see more people carrying guns in, in the street, my goodness. Right, well, for better for us, that's basically, I guess, what we're gonna see happen in your future and we'll just have to keep her on and see what happens. And I don't know if I correlation will, proves uh, causation, but it will definitely be we'll a- We'll see the statistics if it comes. See. If we will it see. comes. Thank you both so much for joining You're us. You're most welcome.